give your slot to a music magazine. And here's me. Hey, it's Peter Slapper Music Magazine. Hey, it's Peter again. Peter Slapper Music Magazine issue number two. Buckman Turner Overdrive, frequently known as BTO, formed in Winnipeg, Manitoba. The band was originally known as Brave Bell and released two albums under that name. They scored hits and albums and singles in the 1970s. In the beginning, the reception to BTO's demo was lukewarm at best, being rejected by 26 record companies. It's possible we might never have heard the wonderful tunes of BTO if Charlie Falk or Mercury Records had been a better aim. After returning from a trip to France, he wanted to start anew and threw all the demo tapes in the garbage one missed, listened to one Bachman song and signed it. He convinced the band to change their name and the rest is history. The name Overdrive was taken from the Trucker magazine but suits the band to a tee. The first BTO album had a strong showing and did well without a hit. The second album, BTO 2, had two big hits, Let It Ride, Taking Care of Business, originally written for the Guess Who. Alvis had an honest tombstone and wore a lightning bolt medallion with the initials TCB, borrowed from the Bachman Turner song. Not Fragile was released in 1974 with the hits You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet and Rolling Down the Highway. Four Wheel Drive yielded Hey You, Head On Had Take It Like a Man. After the release of Freeway in 1977, Randy Bachman left the group, really taking the big draw from the group. BTO continued with a very solid lineup of good musicians releasing two albums but without Randy never able to generate the buzz calling it quits in 1979. BTO reformed in 1983 releasing a new album in 84 on Charlie Fox label Complete. Since Trial by Fire and Greatest and Latest all has been quiet but their songs live in our hearts forever. Randy Bachman and Burton Cummings of the Guess Who have teamed up again. You can catch Randy's new songs on randybachman.com or on MySpace, Randy Bachman. I would like to say, Charlie, thank you for missing the can. Mrs. Beaver says I have the same problem. Charlie Fox and Bachman Turner Overdrive, the Canadian legends, deserve one big beaver slap. BTO continues with Robin Bachman. C.F. Turner, Randy Murray, Blair Thornton, shows in information at btorocks.com. Peter Slapper's Spotlight on Talent. The White Light Machine is Matt McLeod. Matt is one cool artist. His music is folk rock, experimental, and visual. He reigns from Winnipeg. Matt's original music is experimental and progressive. Matt's songs Ignition, Ali Kali, Prayer of Holy Vengeance, Love Magus, Defender of Simulation, and I Am a Dragon Now. 
Bright Light's new DB is Squelch. Matt's putting himself in a meditative state to create a new song. Matt must rest between creative sessions like a ninja fighter. The white light machine in Matt McLeod is worth a listen and buys his EP. He's at MySpace, the white light machine. Watch Matt's video at YouTube user Twin1. White Light Machine's record producer is a boring success. Beaver loves White Light Machine and one big Beaver Slap. Beaver Slappers, announcement and message board. First is the Dead Cats. They're at MySpace Dead Cat on their Western tour dates. They're listed in the following. Antihero at Antihero Canada has added new videos to their profile on MySpace. The Dwight Light Machine is playing July 23rd at Osborne Village in Winnipeg. Uncle Sinner is also playing at the Preston Fort Rhodes Church. Full Vengeance will be on hand. We like Uncle Sam. He's really cool. We saved the best for last. I hope the gentleman guitarist, Walter Rossi, will be in our August 15th issue. Walters at MySpace.com, Walter Rossi, one word. I hope to use more of the artists featured in the music. The music was provided by Crossbone Skulls, except for Matt's uh, music behind his narration for the White Light Machine. Thank you. And a big beaver slapper to you all.